Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Thousands of people from all walks of life at Washington Square Park this Saturday. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! It's emotional being here. Definitely, it's powerful. I'm here to bring my daughter to be part of this historical moment of us all coming together for Black Lives Matter. I have older brothers who are struggling just walking down the street feeling like they're going to be prosecuted for just being black. And it's not fair. It doesn't make sense. They held signs. They prayed. They chanted. They clapped. They took a moment of silence. Let's pray. Black Lives Matter, I mean, they've been treated um, unjustly, unfairly for centuries. There needs to be change, and there hasn't been, and the country's awake now. This, one of many peaceful protests across New York City over the last week, ignited by the death of George Floyd and in the name of all the lives lost at the hands of police officers. If we can't walk from the corner store like Mike Brown, if we can't play on a playground like Tamir Rice, if we can't go to church like Charles we can't get a party like Tayhon Take out our wallet like Amadou Diallo. Run like Walter Scott. Breathe like Eric Garner. Or live like Freddie Gray. We can't just talk. We can't just be happy with our elected officials saying Black Lives Matter and that's the end of the story. You know, we need to demand specific action. I have a younger brother. I have younger cousins. I have uncles. I have so many black friend males. And I'm here to support them. I'm here to support my black sisters. I feel empowered. I feel like I'm born in this generation where we're not taking no for an answer. We will be out here every single day until we see change. 